This is Dr. B. In this video, we're going to write the formula for calcium phosphate. The first thing that we need to do is determine what type of compound we have. We know calcium, that's a metal, and then phosphate is a group of nonmetals, in particular phosphorus and oxygen atoms. When we have a metal and a group of nonmetals, we have a ternary ionic compound. For example, sodium nitrate, NaNO3. To write the formula for calcium phosphate, First, we'll write the symbol for the metal, calcium, just as it appears on the periodic table. So that would be Ca. Then for the phosphate, that doesn't appear on the periodic table. We need to look that up in a table of polyatomic ions. Often you'll be given this table of common ions to work with. We can see in the third column, the one with negative three, we have the phosphate ion, and it's PO4 three minus. We'll worry about the three minus later. For now, we know that the phosphate ion has a formula of PO4. So we have our calcium and we'll add the PO4 to make a skeleton formula for calcium phosphate. But remember that minus three on the PO4, we've got to deal with that because when we have ionic compounds, we have to balance the charges on each of the ion. So the PO4 is minus three and we can look up the charge on a calcium ion on the periodic table. We can see that on the periodic table here, calcium in group two has a plus two charge. In fact, all the elements in group two there have a plus two charge. You should be able to look at your periodic table and figure out the charges on the elements here that are listed with charges. A bit simpler table that might get you started memorizing that is right here. So now we have the charges for the calcium ion and the phosphate ion, and we need to balance those charges to get the final correct chemical formula. So here's my CaPO4, I have my charges written. The first thing I usually do is something called the crisscross method. So I take the minus three, I put it down here, and I put the plus two down here. And because the two applies to this whole polyatomic ion, I do need to put parentheses there. And then I'll remove the charges. And now I have the chemical formula for calcium phosphate. I do wanna check it though. So recall that our charges for the calcium, that was plus two, and then for the phosphate, we had a minus three. So we want the total charge on this molecule to be zero, have a net charge of zero. Three times plus two, that gives me a plus six. And then over here, two times minus three, that gives me a minus six. Plus six and minus six, those will cancel out. So that tells me that I have the correct equation for calcium phosphate. Now I'll just clean it up real quickly. And we have our final formula. This is Dr. B, and if you want tons of practice naming compounds and writing formulas, visit the Naminator website and subscribe to my channel.